The Ruger Mark series has been the most popular 22 pistol ever sold. Millions of these have been produced from the Mark I all the way up to the Mark IV. One of the beautiful things about the Mark IV is it makes disassembly and reassembly much easier, which has traditionally been a bane for the Ruger Mark series. But with everything, there are improvements. When you have production costs, you try to keep it as low as you can and yet have a good quality, reliable firearm. And that's where Volkortsen comes in. They make the best aftermarket parts for your Ruger Mark series and also for the 1022 for that matter. Uh, they're just world renowned and we're gonna take a look today at their accurizing kit for the Mark IV. Uh, not only does it really improve the trigger pull, which is exceptional, but it includes parts that really upgrade. And we'll take a look at the parts comparisons. I mean, Volkortsen really has world-class parts. But not only does it make the trigger pull better, uh, it also, because of the way that it's designed when you enter the magazine, it actually aligns it better and it gives you better reliability. Uh, even with this Mark IV, I've had a few issues with reliability. Once I've installed the accurizing kit, they went away. And also we're gonna take a look at replacing the ambidextrous safety on the right side of the firearm, which was really easy to do. And I want to thank Volkortsen for sending the accurizing kit to install in this Mark IV. Now the Volkortsen accurizing kit was part of the holiday gift guide on GetZone.com. Uh, you will find all of our videos over on GetZone. It is our backup from YouTube just in case with the way social media is doing. But we really appreciate GetZone for hosting this video and for connecting us with Volkortsen. Now one of the things about this accurizing kit, it's the same trigger kit that's in the Black Mamba. And so you're getting a lot of the same features with your trigger, with your reliability that's in the Black Mamba, and honestly for a fraction of the price. The Volkortsen Accurizing Kit for the Mark IV will transform your trigger pull. It'll also disable the magazine disconnect safety. It'll just make it more reliable, much higher quality parts. Now here we have one of the Mark IV lights. It is the 2245. There's a couple of small differences between the 2245, but they're very minor and the parts are included for each one. Now here is your accurizing kit. Uh, we have our hammer and this is a target hammer. It's actually wire EDM cut and it's A2 tool steel and so is the sear. Uh, we have our target trigger and these are CNC machined and we have our disconnector which is CNC machined. We have our trigger plunger and our trigger plunger spring. We have our hammer bushing. And so there's a number of different upgrades here that are really gonna help make this a much better trigger pull. Now included in the kit are two hammer bushing spacers. You have one for the standard Mark IV. You have one for the 2245. It also includes a 2245 over travel screw. It's a little bit shorter than the one installed. And so we're gonna switch that out. So to get things started, let's remove our magazine. Go ahead and check the chamber to make sure it's empty, and it is. Make sure the safety's engaged, and then this lever right below the bolt, just push it down and pull up. It's one of the beautiful things about the Mark IV over the Mark III and II. And we can just take our upper assembly and we can just put it to the side. Next, we're gonna reinsert our magazine, and then we're gonna disengage the safety. Uh, take your finger or your thumb, put it on your hammer, pull the trigger, and let your hammer move forward. Next, remove your grip panels. And next, we're going to remove the bolt stop. Now, there's a little teeth that hook in to your bolt stop, but this is the bolt stop lever, so you have to kind of bring it up and out. You can see right here, this actually fits right into this pin. Now, on the right side of the firearm, go ahead and remove your grip panels on that side. Now, the right side safety lever, just going to take our hex wrench and remove that little screw. Now next, we're going to remove the left side safety, so we just want to pull it out. Now you want to be careful right here, there is a small little plunger and spring. And when we pull this out, actually the safety itself will come out and your hammer. And just to make sure you don't lose that, you probably want to go ahead and pull out your safety plunger and your plunger spring and it goes right into this little cavity right here. Next, we wanna remove the sear, so let's go ahead and take up our disconnector, bring it forward, 
right here on the side just push through your pin and then the rest will fall right out that includes the sear the sear spring and the sear pin next we have the trigger plunger and plunger spring just turn it up let it fall out next we're going to remove the trigger you'll notice you'll see that little silver piece down there you want to take a small allen wrench and just depress it that's a little trigger plunger then here from the other side we're just going to push that pin through your pins going to drop then you can remove your trigger and your disconnector then remove the trigger from the disconnector the actual bolt stop itself is a little lever we need to pull it out and then inside here is a small spring just drop it out now here is the original Ruger trigger and then we have the Volkortsen uh, we have our adjustment screws for over travel and also for pre travel the trigger plunger and plunger spring we're going to replace with the Volkortsen plunger and plunger spring now here we have the Ruger sear on the left and we have the sear spring right here we have the Volkortsen target sear and their spring uh, much better than the Ruger spring for sure and a lot less going on and then we have a spacer as well that we're going to place in here here we have the Ruger hammer assembly and here we have the Volkortsen target hammer <laughs> much more well finished piece we have the trigger plunger and then we have the trigger bushing uh, this is where you decide if you're going with 2245 or with the standard mark 4 and of course we're going with 2245 now here with the Ruger disconnector on top it's a stamped piece and then we have the machined uh, Volkortsen disconnector uh, just a much better quality piece now with disassembly complete I'm taking the tray that the accurizing kit came in we're going to put in our hammer our disconnector our sear and sear spring hammer plunger and spring the trigger trigger plunger and spring and since we're going to remove the right side safety we have the screw and the safety we'll keep these separated next we're going to remove the set screws out of our trigger we're going to put just a touch of Loctite on the set screws remember on the 2245 we need the shorter set screw for the over travel screw next just reinsert your set screws Now once you have your set screws in place, once you have the firearm installed, you can adjust these however you want to. To begin reassembly, we're going to install our bolt stop and bolt stop spring. The bolt stop spring goes into this far left corner. Just drop it in, just like that. Then we take our bolt stop, this little knob goes on the inside here, and then it just drops right down on top of the spring. Next, we're going to install the trigger, trigger pin, and disconnector. Now, with your trigger, take the disconnector pin, the forward pin, and then come into the top of the receiver. Let's go ahead and get your trigger pin in place. Now, push down on the trigger spring. Push the pin through. Push down on your bolt stop, and then get the pin through there we go just like that next we're going to install the sear the sear spring the sear spacer and the sear pin take your sear pin and get it started into the frame now with the sear spring take a pair of needle nose pliers making sure that the coil is going forward and place it onto the sear pin next take your sear spacer and put it onto the sear pin go ahead and bring your disconnector up and over now the sear in this orientation make sure the little L is pointed toward the right side of the firearm there we go the pin the sear pin has slid through uh, I'll tell you guys that's the trickiest part of the installation next we're going to install the safety the safety lever and the trigger plunger and spring move your sear forward and take the safety with this little hook and put it into the sear the top of the sear just like this now with the hole in the safety aligned with the hole in the frame go ahead and bring in your safety lever 
And you want to make sure that it's just flush with the safety so we can install our hammer. Now go ahead and install your hammer plunger and plunger spring. We can bring down our disconnect, it'll hold it into place. Next we're going to install the hammer, the hammer bushing, and the hammer spacer. Remember 2245 or Mark IV, whichever pistol you have. We're going to take the hammer bushing, put it in one side, and the hammer spacer in the other. Next with the hammer in the vertical position with your hammer strut down, you're going to want to get right into the mainspring. So we're going to drop it down and when we do we're going to catch on the disconnector. Now take your safety plunger and plunger spring and return it to your safety. You get your safety pin all the way through and then it'll close. It's very difficult to get that on camera because you really, you really need three hands, but it is doable. Now once you get the safety installed, go ahead and put it on safe. Just cover your hammer. It's working. And again, the magazine disconnect safety is released, so I don't have to have a magazine. And it's working. Since we're going to remove the ambidextrous safety and we're going to put our bushing in there, put a little bit of Loctite on our screw. Put the bushing into place over the safety lever where it was. And we're going to tighten it down. Next, we're going to take our slide stop. You want to take these little forks and put it into where the uh, bolt stop is. Line it up right here with your grip screw or the area where you put your grip screw, making sure that is functioning. Next, we're going to replace our grips. You don't want to over tighten your grips to damage the frame. Next, take your upper assembly, hook it into the frame, bring it down. Then you want to make sure it just pops into place like that. Let's go ahead and check for function. Gonna put our safety on. It's working. Take the safety off. Wow. <laughs> that is a really nice trigger. I don't really like to dry fire my 22 rim fires that often without a round in the chamber but um, that's really nice. Now I can set my trigger screws however I want to to prevent over travel here or your take up. Just a really nice system. And what I really love is I don't have to have the magazine in here if I want to check. I mean, I hate magazine disconnect safeties and honestly it was worth it just for that. But that trigger, fantastic. And to be honest with you guys, it just has better parts. We have our set screw pulled all the way back. A little bit of take up right here. Wow. I mean, it is just a nice crisp break. You feel like you come against the wall so you know when it's gonna break, but it's not much pressure to go ahead and push it over the edge. Let's check our trigger pull weight with our Lyman trigger gauge from Brownells. <laughs> Two pounds, 3.3 ounces. We took the Mark IV down to the range after installing the reports and accurizing kit, uh, and it was flawless. I mean, it, the trigger pull was just much better. Uh, the parts actually help the gun just to feed more reliably as well. Uh, one of the things that I've had a couple of issues with, with this particular Mark IV, is some reliability issues. And that is one of the things that this kit will do. It just fine tunes your Mark IV. And then of course, with that magazine disconnect removed, just makes it much better and it was really easy to remove the right side grip safety. Uh, and then it just makes it more trim, more slim. Overall, I am extremely pleased with the Lacortz and Accurizing Kit. It definitely transforms your handgun. And for more information, you can go to volkortsen.com. And we will be uploading a video doing the complete installation of the Volkortsen accurizing parts. But you can go to volkortsen.com and see a really good video of those parts being installed as well.
And if you don't feel comfortable doing the installation, you can send it straight to Volkortsen and they'll install it for you. Now on the Volkortsen website, the Accurizing Kit for the Mark IV is $141. Uh, they do make it for the Mark II and Mark III, and that is actually less. And there are a number of different upgraded parts on the Volkortsen website, and you can check that out. But really, for the money to upgrade this to the trigger pull and to better reliability, uh, getting rid of the magazine disconnect, it's definitely worth it. So guys, while the Ruger Mark IV is an excellent pistol, uh, I think the upgrades with the Accurizing Kit from Volkortsen is definitely well worth it. Uh, it'll take your standard Mark IV and it'll make it into a world-class shooting firearm. And again, we appreciate Volkortsen for sending the Accurizing Kit for this review. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. The Ruger Mark series, the Ruger Mark series, the trigger, the trigger plunger and <laughs> bring it right into the top, place it down into the trigger guard. And I want to thank, and I want to thank, and take the existing screw. Then we're going to replace our grips. Then we're going to. Next, take your upper assembly, lock it in the front of the frame. For light in the 1020.